Hey guys, let's play some games together. Whoa! 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 Apples are falling. What? Wait, why do apples fall down and they don't go up in the sky? Good question, Ryan. Do you know about Sir Isaac Newton and his law of gravity? No. Can you tell me about it, Mommy? Of course! Welcome to Ryan's world! Sir Isaac Newton was born in England on January 4th, 1643. His parents hoped Isaac would be a great farmer like his dad. Oh, you're going to be the best little farmer. But as little Isaac grew up, he wasn't interested in farming. He loved studying and going to school. Isaac Newton, Isaac, are you here today? Oh, present! Oh, he's great. Have a seat. He did so good in school growing up that he even got into Cambridge University. You aced the test, Isaac. I'm going to put in a good word for you at Cambridge University. Cambridge? I've always wanted to go there. Splendid. Mom, I'm off to Cambridge. Isaac Newton spent a long time at Cambridge University. Not only did he go to school at Cambridge, he even became a professor. Okay, class. Today we're going to learn about mirrors. Mirrors reflect light. So if we use a concave mirror that reflects light at an angle, I have a theory that... No, no, no. Not yet. Oh, right. Okay, now can I show them my telescope? Yes! Oh, brilliant! This is my reflecting Newtonian telescope, complete with mirrors! Unlike lenses like those other telescopes. And it's the best way to reflect an image because it uses a curved mirror. <laughs> Isaac Newton discovered that curved mirrors can be used to improve telescopes. Yes, yes, I did. Those other telescopes would create a, a chromatic aberration. That means a rainbow effect. Is that what you kids are calling it now? Well, yes. These colors, these um rainbows, they kept showing up. And I had to solve the problem. And I did. But then, I had to understand the problem. <laughs> Isaac Newton's studies led him to figuring out lights and colors. One day, he was sitting with the prison up to a window and then... Hmm, I wonder... The prism projected a beautiful rainbow. Wow, all those wonderful colors. Oh. Oh, magnificent! I've, uh, I've got to write this down. Isaac Newton was the first to understand that when you bend white light, the rainbow is revealed. Precisely. I figured out that prisms don't color light. They bend white light to reveal the colors. The circular color wheel become the model for many color systems that we use today. Even after all of his mm. research and discoveries, Isaac Newton wasn't finished yet. Hmm. That's enough discoveries for now. I think I'm going to take a nice nap by this apple tree. One day, Isaac Newton was hanging out under an apple tree when an apple fell on his head. <laughs> what? what was that? An apple? Did someone just throw an apple at my head? Isaac Newton was curious. He wondered why things fall down instead of falling up into the sky. Why do things fall down? Why doesn't everything just fall up instead of... Oh, I think I feel another discovery coming on. Newton discovered a force called gravity. I will call this gravity. 
Gravity is the force of attraction between a smaller object and a bigger object. The Earth is our biggest object. This is why objects fall down. Oh, gravity, gravity, gravity! Wait! Isaac Newton was on the edge of another breakthrough. How does gravity affect an object's motion? Good question. Hmm. Aha! I've done it. Isaac Newton came up with three laws of motion. Law number one. An object in motion will stay in motion. Unless another object acts on it. And an object at rest will stay at rest. Unless another object acts on it. <laughs> this is called inertia. Yes, it is. That means that things like to keep doing what they're already doing. Law number two. Acceleration of an object times the mass of an object equals the amount of force it will move. For instance, do you see these two spheres? Yeah. One is smaller and one is bigger. And when we apply the same force to them... One goes faster than the other? Precisely. The bigger an object is means the more force we'll need to move it. And the smaller an object means the less force we'll need to move it. And that brings me to my final law. Law number three. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So, if I throw this ball into the wall as hard as I can, it will stop it, right? Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Ow! Ow! Oh, the ball bounced back and hit me in the head with the same amount of force that I threw it. So the ball hit you with an equal and opposite force you used. Just like when you threw it at the wall? Yes. So you understand all my laws of motion now. Ah, and I think that's all my discovering for now. You all take a quiz while I go ice my head. Wow! Sir Isaac Newton became one of the most famous and influential mathematicians and scientists ever! Let's see if we can remember why. Question number one. What kind of telescope did Sir Isaac Newton create? Is it A, the TAR telescope? Or is it B, pizza telescope? Yum, 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 yum. Or is it C, reflecting telescope? Did you guess that the answer is C? Reflecting telescope. Question number two. Sir Isaac Newton used a prism like this to understand what? Is it A, he used a prism to understand the case of french fries? Or is it B, how white light refracts into colors of the rainbow? Or is it C, Sir Isaac Newton used a prism to understand different kinds of dinosaurs. Did you get the answer right? It is B. Sir Isaac Newton used a prism to understand how white light refracts into colors of the rainbow. How cool is that? Question number three. What is gravity? Is it A, a force of attraction between a small object and a bigger object? Whoa! Or is it B? Is gravity a continent? Or is it C? Is gravity a fish? Did you guys guess the answer? It is A. Gravity is a force of attraction between a smaller object like me and a bigger object like the Earth I'm standing on. That's why when I try to jump, Gravity is pushing me to the ground. The end. What do you think, Ryan? That's so cool. I can't believe he came up with the law of gravity with just an apple. Let's see if gravity still exists.
Woo. It does. Bye. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Woo.